Hey guys, it's Venushka here with the final part of the Animal Crossing character series. So we designed, model, and textured the character, and now it's time to rig. Start off by adding a single bone armature. And for clarity, I'm gonna switch the viewport display from textured to wire. In edit mode, change the name of the bone to root because this will be acting as the root bone for the entire armature. Add a new bone with Shift A and place it extending up to the base of the head. And extrude a bone for the head. With the middle bone selected, press W and select subdivide and split it to three segments and place them aligning the body shape. Shift A for another bone. Place it where the arm is and subdivide again. Add another bone to act as the collar bone and bring it a little bit forward in the body. Add another bone and do the same with the legs. When you're placing the bones, make sure to check if the placement aligns with the edge loops in the mesh for better deformation. Extend the foot bone and bring the knee forward a little. Make sure to name the bones right. This one is the belly, the chest and the head. And everything that's on the left side of the body should be named with the suffix dot L. Suddenly notices there's no bones on the tail and add a bone and subdivide. And start naming the rest of the bones on the left side with dot L. You do this so you can select everything on the left side of the body and go to armature symmetrize so it will automatically add the bones and name it right on that side. Select the body mesh and then the armature and with Ctrl P select with automatic weights this will weight paint your mesh to the rig. However, this would need some polishing. So go into post mode and check everything. Make sure everything moves right. Seems alright. Back in edit mode, add a new bone to the side. We will use this to control the eye blink. Just as a precaution, select the nose and in vertex groups, remove it from all groups, select the group that says head and with weight set to 1, hit assign. This is to make sure the nose is only bound to the head bone and nothing else. Now select the shirt, the arm measure and parent with auto weights. Make sure the arm measure modifier is always on top. Everything seems to work alright. And now to rig the eyes to work, in the shaders window, load up both texture maps and combine them with a mix node. To control the factor value, add a driver with average value, selecting the armature as the object and the eye control bone as the bone. Choose X location for the type and local space for the space. You should be able to see this in the driver's window when the node is selected. Press N to get the right side panel. In post mode, move the eye control bone in the X axis to see the texture change. On bone properties, lock all other transformations except X location. And to fix the slowness of the texture change, add a generator modifier for the driver and increase the X value to 100. 
This will speed up the displacement. But if you prefer a more sudden change, increase the X value to 200. If you like adding custom bone shapes, add a circle. And with the bone selected in the bone properties panel, under viewport display, select the shape under the custom objects list and adjust the size. You can also edit further by selecting the mesh and editing it in edit mode. Set many custom shapes as you like. You can even use other shapes like cubes or custom edited meshes. Pick the bones that won't be used to animate and put them in a hidden layer in the armature. Check if everything works and then you're good to go. This concludes our series on the Animal Crossing character. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. See you again with the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.